Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crossroads Caravan. This is Scavenger Scout, we're playing more Fallout 3. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Uh, yeah. I really need to get by you. It's important to find what I'm looking for. Alright, alright. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Alright, what is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Tell me about the family, huh? We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. All right. We sure. also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Gotta go. You can fuck off. What's the big idea? Decent weapons and stuff back there, though. If I do need to kill these people, it'll be worth my time. That's the dude I need to talk to. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. You have oven mitts. Oh. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is different from uh, the other se settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. I'm to continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. None of this is necessary. I know exactly what you are. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? You're a vampire, or at least you follow the functionalities of the tradition. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly <laughs> away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. You do this by teaching them mythical believings. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. It's more of a question. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most mm. importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. I see. I'm searching for a dude named Ian. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. What happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Damn. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Uh, are you telling me he's cannibal now? I am telling you. He will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us. A member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. This letter is from Ian. Uh, er, this letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. Your words impress me, human. 
Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Cool. Open this goddamn door now. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. Hey, Ian. Huh? How'd you get in here? Huh? What do you want? I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, uh... Uh, yeah, I'm here to take you home, buddy. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Look, Ian, I know loss, too. I know it hurts, but staying here is not the answer. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Let's go home, Ian. The only one who's beating your nightmare in the... F oh, yeah, give him the letter. No, nightmare in... The yeah, it's fucking You know, face for a then, second dude. there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm All going right. home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then yeah. I'll head on back. Alright, cool. Let's go talk to Vance and then talk about Air for real quick. <laughs> Cause that shit's gotta stop. Oh, come on now, Vance. You're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Hey, you. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Uh, before I talk about Ian, we need to talk about Arifru. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Uh, vampires can drink... Uh, vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you eh. propose? Arafu mm. donates... Uh, I will sell you blood packs and you'll leave the town alone. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, please realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. What little money Carl makes with his shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I am very sorry. Hmm... All right, in exchange for protection, they'll donate blood packs. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. All right. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his oh, decision. Oh, he's leaving. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. Yeah. I hope you will be more successful. Please. Thank you. I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Yeah, Hello there, you. stranger. Shish kebab schematics. <laughs> Your shish kebab has been improved. That's awesome. Oh, hey there, cutie. How's it hanging? Great, actually. You. I finished my first round of Great, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and do you just sidebar her like a motherfucker? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, give me a second to get out of here and go back to Arafu.
in Eric Ruby are. Let's let him know what happened and that they want protection for blood. There he is! The hero of the day! Okay. The family will not bother you again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but god damn am I glad you walked up that ramp and <laughs> lent us a hand. I get it. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Cool. Uh, I got a proposal from Vance. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. Eh. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Straight up. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. All right, cool. Uh, any help you can provide? I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. Oh, yeah? You're welcome to some of it if you like. Alright. Oh, he gave me a bottle of wine? Alright, take it easy in case shit gets bad. That's fucked up. Alright. Oh, I'm over and covered because of the wine? Alright. And toss the wine. What the fuck else? Oh, landmines? I was like, what the fuck else am I carrying? <laughs> Data. I think we have to go let him know now. What the fuck? Water. Please. Thank God. Water. I'm out. You got to give me some water or I'm done for. I don't for. know if I have any. I don't have any water to spare, but I'll come back if I find I know some. you're... Probably just yanking my chain, but it's not like I'm going anywhere. You know where to find me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Is there. Uh, hang on. Fuck. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you're real fucked on that one. Uh, sorry, bud. There's no water around here. And I really would not be sitting weak outside of these tunnels. <laughs> they will eat you like the vampires they are. <laughs> Alright, let me get the vans. There he is. Hey, Vance. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Erfri, accept your proposal. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guard <laughs> no shit, and cool. honor the end of the agreement. <laughs> All right, cool. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Thank you. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Mm, I brought you some blood packs to contribute. I can only offer my thanks, 
My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. Alright, do you take all of them or just some? Fuck, I need to take any of them. Always a pleasure to receive there it goes. you with... 2005. Yes! He gave me the money for it. Alright. We got rid of all of our blood packs. Now nothing's weighing us down. You guys. Yeah, all the blood packs are gone. You guys have a good morning, good evening, or good night. This has been Scavenger Scout, signing out.